Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Relationship Flow podcast. I'm very happy and excited to begin this new year together with Wifey. Thank God we did have a previous episode just to get the year going, but now I'm joined together with my soulmate, Teeny Pop 613, <laughs> aka Wifey, Masha Goldsmith. How are you doing? What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's been a difficult, challenging beginning to the year. Lots of good things were accomplished, thank God. But we've also faced a lot of adversity inside and also outside. For example, we're just coming out of a quarantine for one child that wasn't even really with corona, but it, the results came such. So that slowed down the flow that we were just getting going after the festival time, which thank God had a lot of positive moments, a lot of good flow, a lot of relationship flow. Which is very, was very busy because obviously as, you know, you, there's the school holiday, the summer school holidays, and everybody's home and you're working on how to try and keep everyone entertained and keeping your own equilibrium as a pe person because we're not just parents and we're also our own people. We're also a husband or a wife or whatever it, it is in our case that's what it is and um, and then straight after all that you you know there's about a week like about two weeks of school let's say maybe not yet for three I don't know it's not really like a full a, a full school a starting of school till and then it's they're off for all Rosh Hashanah already and then they're off it's like on off Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur and from Yom Kippur they're off until yeah, after Simcha Sarah so basically, we've had everyone home, um, home a lot. And we so did some great things. We did, it was an amazing yeah. summer holiday. It was a beautiful tishrei. festival time. Yeah, yeah. It was really, really, you know, it was, we, we did great as parents, I think. I mean, I feel like in the, with our resources and, you know, we, we, did, we did the best that we could do uh, for ourselves. Um, but, but what we're, but keeping them, it, you know, we, as I said, we're not just parents, we're also people. We're, we're our own people, we're, you know, I'm a wife, Elisa has my husband, and so that sometimes when one is so busy with all the other, the other you know, being a parent and keeping everyone entertained and keep trying to get everyone's fed and laundry and all the different things, and Ellie with work and, and things like that, um, and obviously challenges get thrown at one, which is normal, which is life. But obviously, you know there are all those kind of things. Um, we just kind of got a bit out of flow with each other, and pro and I was just thinking about it before we started speaking. I, um, you know, I wasn't sure how we could like actually express this, but I just I don't know if you agree with me, Ellie, but like I'm thinking. It's not just us as a couple, but probably because within our, ourselves, you know, we, we haven't really been able to, we haven't had, like all the things we talk about of the time to regroup, regroup. we haven't had much regrouping time with each other and also not enough regrouping time with ourselves. Um, not enough time when we do have time it's, it's amazing, amazing and we, yeah. love, we love it but it's, we no, love, it doesn't feel like it's um, enough which I think that's a good thing the, the, the good thing that we, ha we have seen is that you know once it's just the two of us by ourselves without anybody around we really have a good laugh we really have an amazing talks and you know positive time together um, so you know that's good we, that is a, a good thing but um you know, we haven't had enough time of that, obviously, because, you know, life, things have been more busy and there's been other things going on. Yeah, I mean, I've got this and tour coming every, up. And, yeah, you know, we get different I'm trying not to be overly pressured by it, and that's or a challenge. Nerve, you know, the you know nerves, dealing with all the smoothly. corona stories, yeah, making sure that... that is a real thing, the corona That we're challenge. all negative, and I'm negative by the time I need to fly. I know that I was positive, thank God I'm not. Um, and I have a green passport and all that good stuff, but... Um, it's just challenging the whole process of getting all the bookings, every single thing being on top of all the paperwork. And then having tolerance uh, yeah. and patience to be a husband and a father yeah. and a person separate yeah. to, you know, your job and, you know, all the things that you have to do. I mean, that's with everybody. So that's why I think as we started talking that it's such an important thing um, that is, as I always say, it's like it's okay not to be okay sometimes, and it's yeah. and it's okay 
to um, to feel that that you that you got out of flow because sometimes that happens like you have good flow and you got out of flow mm. and and just like you, you always say during these times when it is more intense and there's a lot more going on and you feel you're out of flow it's not the time to assess or judge your 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 life yeah. or your abilities or or you know necessarily what you're meant to be doing with yourself in a way but you know just try slowly get back into it and i think um and also you catch the flow by not yeah. trying to control the flow. Right. By just letting it suddenly... And let it be, like it's okay. It's you tune, okay. You, you tune into a new flow or like you align to something better. Right. You start to feel more but it's not, but at it's, peace it's, in but a different way than you were expecting. Something else that you weren't thinking it was going to help comes helpful and be open-minded. It's when one feels that way to make sure that you do regroup again and reassess again. Yeah, um, not, in the right time. You know... Uh, well, you know, just like you said, you can't do it all the time. Keep and, and try and, you know, uh, we always have to remember that we are people, our own people in our own rights, uh, aside from being parents and partners. Um, and, and we have to try and be aligned within ourselves because I don't yeah. think we're not aligned within ourselves and true to ourselves and who we are and what our needs and what our soul needs and and things then we're not going to be able to have enough um, emotional stamina and energy for those around us yeah. um, and so then what happens what's happened with me is that um, I've been I, I always I never want my kids or anyone to feel abandoned or neglected or that I don't have for them so I'll just keep on pouring out even if I don't have um, and you know that's it's important to catch catch oneself even if it's a little thing you can one can do for themselves just to so you're not just running on empty um, because then you then one burns out which yeah like Gedalia was saying you have to refuel yeah, yeah and you, there's you there's the, spiritual the fuel emotional, there's emotional physical, fuel physical really, really important. there's relationship fuel not just flow there's also fuel you need to have the energy In, investments yeah. investments investments in your yourself spiritually yeah. emotionally physically investments in your partner spiritually emotionally i mean one of the one of the things with all children. the investment is also like for example me going on a tour means it gives us a little bit of space to re find ourselves again um without each other being physically connected but spiritually we're always connected emotionally we're always connected and hopefully the, the hope is that when we come back the flow would be on a new a new plane, a new opportunity, a new energy and, and vibe that we can tune in together, even though it, and so it, it does make the heart grow fonder, distance. It really does. You know, you, you start to pine for each other in a deep oh, way. it's okay. I don't have a problem of pining for you. Yeah, we pine for each other. And, <laughs> I, you know, even when I went out issue. today for the <laughs> afternoon for a few hours to the, to the rabbi's mill, the third mill, even that, we pine for each other, even we for a few hours. We've for almost 20 years, yeah. and I still feel... I still miss you when you go as much yeah. as when we were at the beginning. And even when we're struggling, even, we, even, even, which, even when right we're having now, a harder yeah, time, right harder, we, we know, still deeply yearn for each other. each other a bit mad, but yeah. we... You just, you have to connect into the... I guess, I guess, I, you might have, I feel like I know I, that one has to connect into the soul level yeah. of the person is in front of you also there's a need, a need for patience as well yeah. to change some of the flows the, there is a need now to progress and people are not the kind of people where well, we're not who just want to settle and just stay at one place you know for yeah. example one uh revenue of income is definitely not enough there needs to be more we need to have more ability to experience nature and experience um family yeah. connection and right now that's been very limited with everything the way it is and we're trying to not allow ourselves to get trapped in that space and we're trying to you know get out more and we've got a car now and do more things that are more productive but it's going to take time we're gonna to have to be patient with that process you know thankfully there is more bookings opening up for the unity for stuff and the artists and musicians and hopefully there'll be more with more than just this and black thank god he's been continuous but they will keep growing into other artists as well and also like what you said sometimes like if we're you know we're once feeling a bit tense or yeah. overwhelmed with life themselves and you know one feels a bit of tension with each other because of that or yeah. you know in addition to that or whatever you know 
as much as the other person always wants to talk everything out straight yeah. away sometimes it's like accepting that you need to just wait a little bit before you talk it out because then you might just say things that you might you don't mean or you might get over your, your reactions might not be totally you know work through well yeah and you know it's you know and we you know I, or sometimes you just need to have a good cry yeah and, and, and just let it out and for a man it could be instead of crying it would be like he needs <laughs> to go for a swim or get some physical energy exertion to get out some of the tension like mm-hmm. please god I'm going to go swimming in the new week very important to keep up the full schedule like you're getting back into exercise daily this is really important um, to get the flow we need to have all different aspects of our life more balanced and that's it also means sometimes we have to say no yeah you know we can't can't do um, yeah. to, to, to certain can't things. help everyone. Can't I can't say yes. Can't drive your kids, kids every like, day. Yeah. My kid, you know, it's, uh, so one them kid, driving him mad. <laughs> yeah, one kid wants me to take Literally. him in every single day to school, which is yeah. an hour. Uh, which he's you know almost sixteen and he can't get on the bus and yeah. it it was taking out a lot of um, time and energy. Time and energy in my morning. That I wasn't yeah, it's then a peak able time, to fit in traffic my, yeah, time and I wasn't able morning. to fit in things that are important for me before everyone gets home. Yeah, and then suddenly everyone's home then, for a yeah. week now. Yeah, and then and please you know, God, we'll be getting back out again. We're like already, you know, thank God, getting all the negative results, so we can go out and get back to life. And I'm going to go on the tour with Ravorish, and so hopefully we'll just enter into a new flow. I mean, I hopefully we'll be in England for a little bit, so get to see everybody, and I'm going to miss doing this podcast for the few weeks with you but the full point of keeping it up in the new year that we're in the new beginnings and the new challenges is that we're showing that as hard as it it was hard to even record this episode as hard as it is but we are determined to accomplish and go ahead in our life even though sometimes we don't feel like it it's it's therapeutic uh, to talk about it because i didn't want to (laughs) i didn't want to on some level also because i could just do it myself and i don't have to like you know, but I know that it's ten times more effective to have my soulmate on the Relationship Flow podcast than by myself. So, I thank you, and I'm sure our listeners thank you. We wish everyone a good new flow, a new year flow of success. And take care of you. Yeah, to, as Jeff Powell always says in his things, give you, give more love to yourself as well. Don't forget what you. What does Salmi say? Mommy, just be you. <laughs> just be you, and enjoy being you, and you is enough. And please, God, we'll uh, join each other again as wifey and husband <coughs> in a few weeks. Until then, maybe I'll squeeze in a podcast or two on the roads in uh, Miami, New York, and London. And then we'll be meeting again um, back in the Holy Land. Please, God, in New Shalim as husband, wifey, as uh, Ellie Goldsmith and Masha Goldsmith. Thank you again. Share your relationship flow feedback. We appreciate it so much. And we're going to keep this coming. Yeah. Bye.